Hi, I'm Becky Wobbly. Uh, the Advent devotion for today, December 10th, is based on Fling Wide the Door, ELW 259, verse 2. He is the rock of our belief, the heart of mercy's gentle self. His kingly crown is holiness. His scepter is his loveliness. He brings our sorrows to an end. Now gladly praise our king and friend and worship him with song for saving us from wrong. The devotion author shares this message. Caring for children, my own, but also those of friends and family who are nice enough to let me get my baby cuddles from time to time, I've been struck by just how beautiful and terrifying it is to love someone so small and fragile. As we set up the tiny manger scene in preparation for Christmas, it is hard not to feel the sense of beauty and terror. As I place the animals, shepherds, and magi on each side of Mary and Joseph, I smile with anticipation as I bring the last two pieces to the center, a small bed of hay and the delicate baby Jesus. My smile and joy are matched by our furrowed brow of concern for the halo and the hay in our Savior's bed, a foreshadowing of the crown of thorns and scepter of reed placed in his hands at the cross. Anticipation and recognition quickly come full circle. I step back and take in the entire nativity scene and am overwhelmed with gratitude that this king of ours returns every year in the form of a babe the heart of mercy's gentle self and our salvation. Let us pray. Dear God, accept our worship of song this day as we prepare for the season of your birth and stand in awe of our gentle power and saving grace. In your holiness and loveliness we pray. Amen. <laughs>